All right, morning, everybody. Um, starting out early, it's nice and cold. It was 80 degrees yesterday, and it is 35 this morning. So everybody is nose is stopped up and everything. But anyway, so I got the guys checking out the trucks. So Jim's airing up his truck, checked his lights, got it fueled up. We check our tires every day, so he's checking all of that. And then, uh, I'm sorry, Pate, not Jim. And Jim is back here with his truck, getting his lights and everything checked out, tires. Uh, he had one running light out in the back, so they're, him and Eric are back there. Might have just been a loose wire. Yeah, they're back there, so. Then Fred will be in, he's got, uh, he's got a head, I think he had an appointment this morning, but he's gonna come and get the 40 footer, then head on down there to the job, because this next job we can, uh, we can get the 40 footer in. So, and then over here I got uh, Oscar's filling up the water tank behind the ram. We brought it back in last night. We don't have a water source down there and we didn't pay for a hydrant meter. So we're just filling it up here at the shop. Um, so that's that. And then Omar and them are still in Dillon, things like that. And that 250 is heading to uh grease trap removal here next week so so that's the update on that so i'll catch you guys up the job all right we just got here uh we got the pressure washing trailer dropped off looks like we got two loads here and then we'll rake back this dirt kind of fill in this little bit of a basement because this whole hillside slopes real bad um oscar gonna get that tractor warmed up our two trucks will show up for this. This is like one and a piece of a load, probably maybe eh, not quite two full loads. Fred's bringing the 40 footer, but by the time he gets here, I'll get him to grab the low boy and head over here and we'll get this machine moved to the next one and hopefully start the next one sometime after lunch, kind of keep the ball rolling on this project. We had seven houses to do here. This is number three. Yeah, number three. So, yeah, so that's where we're at. So we'll uh, wait for Eric to get back with the decon trailer, get it set up, and then uh, start loading out trucks. There comes Pate. They just got back from the landfill. He's gonna go down and get pulled around park down there we'll get him polyed up get him loaded and like i said when jim gets here we should be able to get the final debris put on his truck and eric's got the uh the mobile decon set up so we're good to go so once we get him polyed we'll get him loaded uh so eric's in here poly and i figured i'd show y'all keep telling y'all we're polying the truck but y'all may not know what that means. So he's literally lining the inside of this thing with plastic. That way it kind of keeps all the, for the most part, it keeps everything kind of contained. And then we'll wrap, we line the poly over the top of the trash after it's loaded and then tarp it with the just traditional tarp after that. But yeah, that's what he's doing, putting poly in.
All right, so we got the last load out of here. Jim's gonna take it. Eric's, or uh, Oscar's slicking it up with the excavator until we bring a skid steer here to kind of fine tune it and put grass seed and straw. So we're done with this one. We're gonna go grab lunch, come back with the low boy and move this thing on to the next one. All uh, right, here comes Fred. We're gonna, we walked the machine and got it parked over here in this field. So he's gonna get situated here in the road and get this thing loaded. Good looking rig. It's a busy little road. We tried to do this a little bit after lunch so we can avoid some of the traffic, but I don't know how well that's gonna do. You can see it's already getting piled up already, so. All right, well, let me get off here before somebody rear ends us. Boss, we helped Fred. We got him, uh, got the neck unhooked. He's gonna ease forward. Then Oscar's gonna walk out there and we're gonna raise that thing up so it doesn't drag. Then we'll walk this thing up on the trailer. Just throw maybe two chains on. We're going right down the road. Literally at the end of this road, pretty much. Too far to walk the machine, though. Well, some of these cars get out of the way, and then we'll load this thing. Hey Fred, come on back. The road's got a little bit of a pitch in it. He's worried about sliding off because that sidewalk over there. Hey, Fred! Fred! There he goes. Normally, you gotta be pretty quick about this. Back the truck up as the tractor's rolling up on the trailer. That way, you limit the gap from the truck and the trailer so that way the cars aren't having to ride in the oncoming lane too far. Rarely do we get to offload in a safe and convenient area. Most time we're stuck doing it like this. All righty, well, let me throw a couple chains on it. We're gonna head on to the job. All right, so Fred, we got, I rode with him over here just to show him how to get over here, but uh, we're gonna get this thing offloaded. And then this is our next one we're tearing down. Little uh, one story with a high pitch roof, little mill house. Same thing as the others, got asbestos in it, things like that. We got, uh, before lunch, we come by here and dropped off our decon trailer and our water trailer over there. So we got everything really set up. We just gotta put the red tape up Pate's already here with his dump truck. Got Jim coming in the other one, and then Fred brought the 40 foot dump trailer here this morning. So, but yeah, that's it. So, let's get this thing off loaded, and then we will uh, get started on this thing. Ah, uh, they caught me. I was on the phone when they started, but every time.
I'm always stuck on the phone, so if something good's happening, I never get a chance to video it. Uh, so I made good progress. Uh, pretty much got the whole house down. Got the two trucks out of here. We're gonna uh, get this 40 foot frameless loaded up, and then we'll uh, that'll be it for the day. Let's we'll see. Let's we'll see if we can get this thing loaded. All right, so here we are, end of the day. Pretty much got this house done um, right here after lunch. Probably got 
maybe two loads left for that 40 foot trailer, which is what we're gonna be running because I'm gonna put those two triaxles on some stump hauling and dirt hauling tomorrow for a buddy of ours. So, but yeah, everything turned out good. Got everything, gotta get some of that cleaned up before we leave out of here, but that's it. I'd call that job well done. Thanks again for watching, guys, and we will, uh, I guess I'll catch y'all tomorrow.